What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another video. And today we are taking a look at Steinberg's new library called Materials, Wood and Water. So this is a bit of a left field product you might have seen in other people's channels um, on the Steinberg website, but a little bit unusual for my channel because uh, this is a Halion product uh, built for the Halion player, which I haven't really looked that much at before, if at all. And so this would be the first product using a different player in a long time. And uh, yeah, I, I was definitely interested in this because it has a really beautiful sound, a really beautiful organic touch to it with some sound design elements, which is always a nice bonus. But um, yeah, when, when Cyber kind of reached out to me and offered uh, a copy to take a look at, I was definitely intrigued. And so I want to take a look at it with you guys today and do a little giveaway at the very end as usual. So uh, stick around for that. So um, basically, this is an 18 piece string ensemble. Uh, library with wood and water instruments as well. So uh, uh, combining lots of nature elements, some organic feel to it. It's really, really interesting. So here we can see it's a six gigabyte Halion instrument with strings, wood instruments, synths, and effects. And then there's 11 extended playing techniques by the strings, a four layer sound engine with multi samples and uh, wavetable and granular, some more sound design there, and then some cinematic presets designed by Magnetic 96. So in this video, we'll take a look at more of those raw sounds because that's mainly what I care about as more of an orchestral composer, I don't really use sound design very much. So we'll take a look at those acoustic sounds, but then we'll take a look at also how we can create our own sound from scratch as well. So a little more details here, and it's currently on offer for $150. So uh, let's dive in. Here we are in uh, in Logic, and this is the Halion Player, Halion Sonic SE3. And I've just loaded up um, 11 or basically 10 different pre-built sounds. And by the way, in the Hellion player, the way you select a sound is by going to the track, you click on it, then you can click the drop down arrow right there. And then this little loading screen uh, comes up. And then you can choose from all the installed sounds that you have, which kind of library do you want to go with? So in this case, we're looking at wood and water, but if I wanted Verve, the, the felt piano, I would choose that one, but I could choose wood and water. And then all of these listed here uh, are from the uh, wood and water library. So I've already loaded a few of the ones that I wanted and we'll just go through them one at a time. So let's take a look at the string stab one and uh, this is what it sounds like. So just a beautiful raw sound, and basically the, this this uh, this preset basically works with the uh, layers activated at the same time. So you can always turn individual layers on and off, but it's really cool because you can basically customize it to how you like. So. By default, this patch loads with the string staccato, which we heard on its own, the pizzicato, which we also heard on its own, and then the colenio as well. And so when you layer all three, it creates this beautiful full sound from the staccato, but layered with the pizzicato and the colenio, you also get a bit of attack there. But of course, you can go into any of these individual elements and trigger between you know these different sounds. You can alter the volume, um, the serial width, the envelope, layer A, layer B, reverb, and stuff like that. So it gives you that flexibility there. Uh, let's take a look at another one. Let's go with a piano sound this time. So this is the water piano. It sounds a bit like this.
So really beautiful sound there as well. Um, let's take a look at a actual sequence. So this is um, basically synced to your BPM, of course, your host tempo, and they have four different variations, but we're just listening to uh, sequence number three here, so. <laughs> Really, really cool. All right, and then of course you can go in and also affect the filter, so the actual texture of the sound, um, uh, some other effects you can trigger here, compressor, chorus, flanger, like typical sound design stuff or effect stuff you can add, right? And then there's some other sound design elements there you can alter. Let's keep going here. So here's the Waterwood Drummer. Here's the next one. Yeah, I just love how they took those source sounds and actually turned them into a rhythm. That's so, so cool. Um, th this library does remind me kind of like of Habitat from Orchestral Tools. I think it's a, it might be a creative sound pack. I'm not quite sure, I don't quite remember, but uh, very similar there with a focus on this kind of nature vibe, which is really nice. Um, okay, underwater pipes. This is more of like a church or, or organ type of thing. Gorgeous. Okay, this is probably my favorite patch of the library, Rain Piano on Tape. I saw uh, Dom go through this on the walkthrough video and I just had to try it out for myself. All right, um, beautiful sound, right? Now, a really small thing is that sometimes when I was playing some of these patches, uh, Helen was only playing back, I think if it, was, if it was, if I was playing like a five note chord or more, it would only play back four notes at maximum at the same time. And some of those notes would be uh, missing basically from the chord, but then sometimes it would work. So I'm not sure, maybe I'm, I could be doing something wrong. Uh, maybe the engine was just responding uh, maybe milliseconds late to my playing or something. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but I will fiddle around with that a little bit more in the future and see if that comes up again. But just, just as a little side note, that is something I kind of experienced, but uh, maybe, maybe that's just, that you know my my wrongdoing there <laughs> um okay let's have a quick listen to the pizzicato bass line so let me quick show you where that's lying here so wood and water this is in the bass section they have a whole bunch of them as you can see here and it's under pizzicato bass line so let's have a quick, quick listen
So you can play more than just the bass line there. Obviously, you can play multiple notes as a chord. Okay, here's one of the pads, Stranger Goats. So the module does some pretty cool things throughout this library. But for this one in particular, it kind of warps the sound. So it, it kind of wavers and it goes off pitch. And then as you bring it back down to the very bottom, it goes back to the center of the pitch as well. So uh, very nice there. Okay, marimba nature. Rainforest Grand. Great. So yeah, that, that's just a few of the examples here. And let me show you a custom sound I actually put together here. So um, this is the, uh, yeah, I basically loaded in a, a, a shell patch, like without anything loaded in. And then I added in four different elements here. So if I take a look, there's a string colenio patch. There's the resonating grand piano. There's the string soft and the 3D monster, which is more of a synthetic element there. So having a quick listen. So let me, let me quickly show you how to, how to actually create a, a patch from scratch here. So let's take a look at this one. What we're going to do is go and click on this track. So this is track number 12, and we're going to go to load. Now we're going to click on this little icon right here, layer filter, and then click on that. And then we're going to go down to initial wood and water. So this is going to load in the library, but completely blank. Okay, so I'm going to double click. And now we have it loaded, but now there's nothing loaded at the moment. So there's no sounds. So what we have to go, uh, what we have to do is go down here to the very bottom, click one of them, and then we have to select the sounds. So there's three types of sounds. There's the instruments that have the raw sounds. We have the uh, guitar, we have marimba, some percussion, grand, grand piano, and we have the string, strings here as well, right? So if we have to listen to maybe a couple, Have a listen to the soft strings here. Beautiful texture. Let's say I want to go with that. Then in the second slot, I can go with, let's say, one of the synths. So let's go with <clears throat> Dusty Heaven. Okay. Maybe for the third one, we'll load in one of the, the sound effects here. So let's go with the bubble pop. <laughs> Let's have it just maybe a listen to the bubble pop by itself. Yeah, it's basically one popping sound that is pitch shifted across the entirety of the keyboard. And if we load in all three of them together, Let's just hear the strings by itself.
And it's as simple as that. That's that's all you have to do to create your own sounds here. And of course you can layer as uh, up to four sounds, but then you can tr trigger the parameters for each sound individually, which is really nice. Again, you have control here, you have filters, effects, and motion. And for a full complete walkthrough of everything, just check out Steinberg's channel. Dom does a great job walking through all the features there. But generally, um, I think I would be using this library the most for the piano sounds. It has that really beautiful blended nature with the with the nature um, sounds uh, with those organic sounds. And then the fact that we have those organic instruments which are recorded very beautifully, um, have having that layer layering capability with the sound design elements that all comes together in a really gorgeous manner. And you can use this library for so many different uh, uses, right? So whether it's just a typical scoring situation, or maybe you have a documentary of the score or something super light, like a children's cartoon or something. Um, I think this library could work really well for those certain things. So definitely a more specialized library, but one that could definitely find its way in your arsenal if you like the type of sound that you're hearing. And speaking of which, let's get into the giveaway. So three things we need to do. First of all, just fill out the form below in the description box. Again, this will enter you into the system and I'll email you within a couple of days to let you know who the winner is. And at the same time, you'll be joining my email list so I can send you exclusive composing content every week to help you with your compositions and your music journey in general. Uh, that's a bonus perk there. And uh, step number two is to make sure you leave a comment below this video. Let me know what you would use this library for. Um, I would love to hear the, the type of inspirations you're starting to get by hearing some of these sounds. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts there. And number three is to simply leave a like on this video. Always helps, greatly appreciated. And uh, thank you again for checking this video out today. So I'll catch you in the next one. Again, stay tuned for the winners. I will email you out uh, very shortly, but make sure you fill out the form so you can get into the system and enter the giveaway. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Take care and see you later. Bye-bye.